Eric. Hey, welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson here at the 2014 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. And today, a very special behind the scenes exclusive look at just one step in the process of how a car goes from an idea to a masterpiece. How does sculpting help a designer create a car? Well, yeah, it's a giant sculpture. Yeah. So you have to make it to see it. Even if you do, they do work with a computer a lot, but you still have to see something in real life to know what it will look like next to other cars. So tell me some about some of the things you're doing right now and how it would be used in the design. Mm. Well, this, I'm adjusting and cleaning up lines that are there. But a designer, as I'd be doing this, a designer would come up, take some tape. That's not up right now. And let's say this window, they might want to change that. They would put a new line on there. Guess how long it takes to get the trailers that we want to sign and want to build. And be like, oh, we want the window to this edge to go to that black line. I'd be like, okay. I'd come up and start sculpting to that line. And that's how designers would, that's how I work with designers. They come up, give me drawings, or they put lines on the car. There's many different ways of working on it. It's surprising. A lot of people think it just gets done on a computer, but um, you need a human touch to give it the feeling and kind of the soul of, uh, of a sculpture. It's not just a machine. I mean, all cars before computers were done by hand, and people love that feeling, and we, uh, we keep that tradition alive by putting that into the cars. How much fun do you have doing this, personally? Um, it's my dream job. I mean, yeah. I sculpt at home. I do uh, my own my own creative work. Then I come to work and I get paid to sculpt some more. So it's like I'm like, oh, this is great. So I love it. Now you mentioned how it's it's better to touch and feel the car versus going on the computer and doing that. Well. It's a tool. It isn't better or worse. It's just another tool that helps us get to something beautiful. You know, it's you need to give it that that human touch because when something comes out of the computer, there's something off. It just feels wrong, and the designer knows it. Sculptor knows, and the designer comes and will move a line a few inches or a millimeter or a two millimeters, and that's a huge difference. It doesn't seem like much, but that little bit of change can change the feeling and the impression that you get from a car. Are there reasons why you give it texture in different areas or different lines? Oh no, the lines, the lines you see on this are from uh, a mill that carved the car out. You can see them here, all through here, all this. That is from a giant mill, it's basically a giant drill bit. Carve this out line by line, back and forth. And it's just a faster way of uh, making something that's rough. This isn't the final design. The designer come over, see the shape, and be like, okay, we're gonna change these shapes. It's part of the design process. What but, happens if you mess up? Can you put the clay back? Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's, um, it's an oil-based clay. It feels kind of waxy. And um, you just take it when it's warm, and you can smear it on. This isn't as hot as we would like it, but you can add lots of clay. You know, I could come back and dig this out. You know, it might, it's, yeah, now there's a big dent in it, but I can come back and fill that up. That's not a problem. Does it ever dry out or hard? No, it's, uh, it's made for industrial use for car sculpting. And uh, we can actually paint it when it's done. It'll look like glass and steel. We smooth it out. So they were showing the, in the video earlier the clay modeling of the interior. Yeah. So is that can people actually sit in that interior or is it not? Yeah. Okay. And the clay doesn't strong enough to mm, form. Or? The seats. No, you don't touch anything. Okay. You sit in there and you look at it. Okay. You don't want to be pulling on knobs or something because right. it okay. is clay and people know it. Um, that's why sometimes they say you can't go in there because it's a clay model. Sure. But um, yeah, well, you have to see it in real life that's where we use clay right i mean computers can only get you so far you have to sit there and like look at it and be like oh yeah i can see over the steering wheel i can see in the ip yep. you know the buttons feel right i can reach over here 
a full-size clay model will be used not just for uh, designing but for aero right. dynamics. They'll put in a wind tunnel and they'll test the clay model okay. and be like, oh, this is terrible. The car wants to flip over because of something weird. Right. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, yeah. So clay, we come back and change it. Wow. Very cool. So the dimensions, and there's got to be a lot of math involved to make sure that it's exactly proportionate to, you know, yes. if you were to blow it up by 10. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Everything's a scale. Um, that's the great thing about computers. We can scale it down to any size, make it as big as we want, as small as we want to. So. Without the clay modeling technique, would we be missing an element of the design oh, yeah. process? Yeah. I mean, you have. It's you, the final product is going to be huge and on the road. It's life size. You have to see it life size. You know, they um, they do have VR walls, virtual reality, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, you got to come up and touch it and stand next to it, see what it's like, and that's what the clay model helps designers do. Is this a process for every single car? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Every car you see on the road, somebody has sculpted, smoothed out, made models, maquettes, different scales, aerodynamics, everything. Every inch of a car that you see has been sculpted by someone. Uh, the whole process varies for every car. Okay. Like any creative process here, or any creative project, you know, sometimes it might take five years, sometimes it might take a year. Depends on the car, depends on... This one I have no idea how long. I, can, I was working on it two years ago when I started with Ford. Um, it's, it varies, but imagine making a figure sculpture or a painting, you know, how long some people takes, you might take a different amount of time. Same thing with every car. Is this all one solid piece? Uh, no, it's about two inches of clay on here. Um, we have a rough shape out of foam. We put the clay on and rough sculpt it into this. And then from here, designers change it like I showed you and basically make it beautiful. And keep it right here on Everyman Driver for more exclusive footage and interviews from the 2014 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching.